Welcome to an episode of Bedroom Forensics. So recently I've been really saddened by what's going on in Lebanon, in Beirut, since the blast. Obviously there's protests that are continuing today. Thankfully, millions has been pledged by countries across the world, giving immediate aid to help the economy and also find those that are still trapped in the rubble. Now, what we do know in the situation is that there was containers by the seaport that housed a lot of fertilizer, which was giving off chemicals. Now, these chemicals were ammonium nitrate, and there was 2,750 tons of the stuff in containers, and they must have come into contact with an open flame or a spark, or the containers were damaged in some way. Now, what is ammonium nitrate? Well, NH4, NO3, as I said, is used in fertilizers and bomb making, and it's a salt made from the combination of ammonium and nitric acid. Now, nitrogen is one of the 14 essential soil nutrients needed for plant growth, and adding it to the soil can make plants grow quicker. By blending it with ammonium, it makes it cheaper, making the combo chemical a popular choice in agricultural industries around the world although many countries are now phasing it out due to concerns over misuse. Now, usually it is relatively stable, but it does have a potentially lethal downside, as both components were once gas and they cool to form the salt. So when they get heated up, they can cause an exothermic reaction, which in real basic terms is an explosion. That means that the product needs to be stored properly and in containers that don't let in the elements. If they had even a slight chance to evaporate and then cool, they're more likely to explode. Now, in perfect safe conditions, to start the explosive reaction, ammonium nitrate, as I mentioned, must come into contact with an open flame or another ignition source. And that's probably why it's used in explosives, such as TNT, and it's the ingredient of rocket fuel and it's been used in five acts of terrorism worldwide. With the incident in Beirut, we don't know the exact conditions yet, but we do know that an orange mushroom cloud erupted and spread a poisonous gas cloud of nitrous oxide. That is still in the air. Nitrous oxide is often taken by kids in the park, and it's the laughing gas that gets in these little silver canisters. Now, it can be calming, but too much can cause breathing difficulties, dangerously increase heart rate, nausea and burns. It can also affect physical and neurological behaviour. Studies on rats who had prolonged exposure suffered neurotoxicity and that affects the central nervous system. When too hot, it can also detonate, but luckily it needs to be over 250 degrees. N20 is always in the atmosphere, it's been noted as one of the gases that has led to the greenhouse effect. And although it is less than one third of carbon dioxide and that of methane, 38% of N20 in our atmosphere is because of human activity. And it's been implicated in the thinning of the ozone layer. Humans, eh? Now, I just want to say once again, this explosion was a real tragedy. My heart goes out to everybody 